For part A, from the figure, we see that the initial position is equaling negative 2.0 meters. And we can then apply x minus the initial position equaling the initial velocity times t plus 1 half times the acceleration times time squared here. We can say then we're applying at 1.0 seconds and 2.0 seconds to get two equations for two unknowns. So we have 0, 0.0 minus negative 2.0 meters equaling v initial times 1.0 seconds plus 1 half times the acceleration times 1.0 seconds quantity squared. Um, we can then say 6.0 meters minus negative 2.0 meters equaling the initial 2.0 seconds plus 1 half times the acceleration times 2.0 seconds quantity squared. And so solving these two equations, we find that the initial velocity is 0 meters per second and that the acceleration is equaling 4.0 meters per second squared. This would be our final answer for part A. And for part B, uh, the fact that the answer is positive means that the acceleration vector points in the positive x direction. So because acceleration is greater than zero, uh, the acceleration vector is directed towards positive x. So that would be our answer for part b. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.